Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Training with Daox and in this episode I'm going to show you a really fast method. So we're going to be using the favoring code DKQ which will take us to the Glacos Cave and once we arrive at the Glacos Cave you will see this animation that will boost our combat and we're going to be training in the Gorox Fortress. So that boost will work in the Gorox Fortress and will give us a 5% boost to our hits which allows us to get those high hits that we're looking for with our Daroks and that's what this whole series is about. Wearing full Daroks, bringing our health down to as low as possible to get those high hits, allowing us to get faster experience or faster profit. But in this episode I'm going to be focusing on the experience and not the profit. Please don't also forget that to be able to travel with this route to the Gorok's Fortress you must have completed the Ritual of Majorat. So that's a very important part to be able to get the boost from the Stone of Jazz. But if you haven't completed it, there is other ways to get here. But this is the route I took. To be able to do this method effectively, I strongly suggest you zoom out as much as you can. That's to be able to see as many dragons as you can from as far away as possible. And also to be able to see your drops without having to kind of click on them to see what has been dropped. That will allow us to save so much time and it's a lot more effective to do it this way so zoom out as much as you can to be able to see the dragons from far away. So once you have drunk your overloads if you have it, please don't also forget to bring super anti-fire potions, that's one of the strongest requirements for this method. Because we're going to be using a great axe we don't have the kind of like the slot to use a dragon fire shield. So don't forget to bring a super anti-fire potion which is one of the strongest requirements for this method because that will allow us to use our Darox without having to worry about the dragon fire. So we're going to be going into a circular rotation around the fortress. It doesn't matter which way you go around, just go around the circular and by the time you reach round or by the time you've gone around a whole circle, the other dragons on the other side will start to respawn which will mean that we're not running around looking for a dragon to kill but because we're going around in this circular rotation, we are giving them enough time to respawn, which means that we don't have to worry about them respawning and like we aren't spending or wasting any seconds looking for a dragon to kill because we've gone around and we can see every single one that's respawning. So yesterday I spent an hour here and please don't forget that I use obviously full Darox, my 99 cape, a fury, Bandos gloves and Bandos boots and that's all I used in my gear setup. If you have got better items you will obviously get faster kills or you will get those higher hits and I also use a overload or like my overload and also my prayer bonus for my turmoil. That allows me to kind of get the best bonuses I can get but obviously if you have better items or better potions you want to use of course go ahead and use them. But I spent an hour here and I managed to kill 288 iron dragons in that one hour and also 252 steel dragons which gave me in total 497,000 experience including my constitution in you know all together per hour which is quite amazing and on top I also managed to get 40,000 prayer experience because I used a bone crusher so if you use exactly the same things I use and use the same method you will get about 540,000 experience per hour. That's either attack, strength or defense or combined along with constitution and prayer, which is actually pretty amazing. I know that some people will say, what about the dragons in the Brunhaven dungeon? Are they worth doing? Um, they probably are worth doing, but they probably aren't as fast as these. One of the reasons is because these are so close together and you aren't having to compete with other players to get the kills. I did travel to Brunhaven just before making this video just to kind of check it out and there was three other players in the same world which meant that you're going to have to compete with them to get those kills. Uh, I'm not sure if it's worth hopping or not in the Brunhaven dungeon but one of the best things to do is spend 15 minutes doing the same method in the Brunhaven dungeon, work out how much experience you've gotten and see if it's worth it or not. But even if you get 100,000 less experience per hour, you still will be getting 400,000 experience per hour, which is still pretty good. So thanks for watching this method. Of course, if you have any questions, please post them below. And if you want to suggest a monster for me to try this out, just don't forget to post that below also. And if I do think it's worth it, you will see me post a video about it soon. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.